Hey, hey, Cancer, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your April 2022 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Cancer and take a look at all things related to love. So whether you are currently single, perhaps you are partnered up, or perhaps it's just complicated. We'll take a look at it all. So just a friendly reminder, Cancer, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so we're going to dive into the energy of your past, present, and future before we get into your Celtic cross. So in the position of your past energy here, we have the owl, which brings in clarity. So I feel there was a situation you really had to get clear about regarding your love life. Now, this could be a situation between you and another partner where you found out uh, some honesty or maybe you got really raw and honest with yourself because when you think of the energy of the owl, owls see at night and owls see uh, through things as well. So I feel there may have been things that you really had to go deep inside of you to figure out what you wanted and how to move forward in a new direction here. So I feel like there was clarity in the recent past regarding on how to move forward. And in the present moment, you have home matters. So I feel like you're really taking care of business. They're giving me the song, Taking Care of Business. Uh, but I feel like you are, you're focusing on your stability, you're focusing on your, uh, possibly your home life, your family, your children, maybe you're working from home at this time as well. Some of you are working on home projects this month in April as well, but I feel like you are building stability for yourself. You may be doing more things at home that you didn't do before, or maybe that you hadn't had time to do. Um, they're also showing me like a spring cleaning type of energy here. So you may be focusing on, um, just kind of getting everything together for some of you, not all of you, you may be combining combining households as well, or you may be um, moving. You may be moving into a new home. Now in the area of your future, ooh, we have the cinnamon stick showing up. And this is about intense passion here, Cancer. So I feel for a lot of you, there's somebody that is either you have your eye on at this time or they have their eye on you. Maybe you are in a relationship or if you are single, you are attracting uh, some divine love or some divine passion coming in here for you. But let's take a look and dive into your reading and take a look at what is going on. What is the heart of the matter for cancer in the month of April? Oh, this was from a different deck here out of the blue. Actually, Spirit is saying, take a look at it. Yeah, you're bringing balance into your life here, Cancer. And that's what that home matters is all about, is bringing balance to your home life. Becoming more stable with your energy here. That's also uh, Libran energy. So some of you uh, Cancerians may be dealing with a Libra as well. So let's take a look and see what the heart of the matter is. Oh, there it is. New beginnings here. So again, some of you could be moving or joining households as well, but the full energy talks about a brand new beginning, taking a leap of faith, uh, having a fresh start here, and you're taking a risk or a chance. And I feel like this is on love. You're embracing the unknown. And I feel like you are heading towards uh, the love that you have wanted to attract in your life for quite some time here, Cancer. So this is really beautiful. I am feeling on a collective level, there's something uh, of a planetary shift or some sort of energy vibe coming in that is spreading the love in the month of April. So I feel that a lot of people who have been single for quite some time or a lot of people who have been really going back and forth with uh, somebody else, there's some final decisions and some clarity that will really allow you to move forward in the month of April. What do we have here? Two of Wands or excuse me, 10 of wands. So yeah, this is releasing yourself from the heavy burdens that you've been carrying in the past. And for some of you, this is physical burdens. This is emotional burdens. This is mental burdens here, but you're releasing it and you're heading towards your life here, taking a chance with this full energy. So the two, 10 of pentacles, you're releasing an old story so you can write a new one here. You're eliminating things that are too heavy for your energy here and you're prioritizing 
what you need to do at this time. And that may be why home matters is really showing up for you, Cancer, because you are, um, you were carrying a lot is what I am sensing here. But now you know what is right for you because you've gained the wisdom and you've gained the clarity on how to move forward here. And you finally made a decision to do so is what I'm sensing. But let's take a look and dive into your challenge or obstacle cancer. And let's see how we can help you navigate through it. What is going on for cancer in the month of April, spirit? All right. This is about nurturing yourself, making sure that your, your cup is full before you hand it off to another because you can't, uh, you can't fuel from an empty cup here. And the Empress energy, when she's feeling good and she's feeling on top of her game, she's full of nurturing energy, very maternal, loving, uh, creative. But when she's showing up as the challenge, it's saying don't neglect uh, a situation that needs to be taken care of or don't smother an idea. Or you, you know when you think of uh, really trying to build a fire uh, you uh, don't want to neglect the fire by not feeding it wood, but at the same time, you don't want to put so much on it that you put out the flame. So please take either one of those scenarios to which it resonates with you, Cancer, but I feel like you either need to put more into something that you're doing, this new beginning here, or not put so much control or so much onto it that it suffocates it here. So the Empress energy is about putting what you need into yourself, nurturing yourself first so that energy can reflect outward. So let's take a look and clarify whatever this Empress energy. And again, Empress is a Taurus, Libran energy. So you may be dealing with uh, one of those. Yeah, this is about taking action. So you're ready to take action, uh, but make sure you're going about it the right way is what the challenge is for you. Make sure you're not just jumping into something impulsively, make sure that you, Cancer, are uh, using your intellect, your logical thinking, and connecting that with your heart and your emotions as well. And then making a decision based on what it is that your soul wants, not what other people think you should be doing or what other people tell you you should be doing, because you have a big, beautiful new beginning coming in here. But take care of what needs to be done instead of avoiding some sort of responsibility or avoiding uh, maybe not taking care of the things that you need to or prioritize at this time here. But the Knight of Wands can come in and uh, kind of want to save you and say, oh, I'm going to take you take you off into the wind. They're giving me the Calgon commercial. Calgon, take me away. So you may get wrapped up in maybe this intense passion here, but your home life or something on the forefront needs your attention. So I do feel, again, passion showing up for you, whether this is uh, mid to end April, uh, or it could even be in the four weeks out from the mid-April mark for a lot of you, but let's take a look and see what is below you. What is the foundation upon which you are built? Let's take a look here. The King of Pentacles, you are built for success, for stability here, Cancer. This King of Pentacles could also be whether it's your energy uh, or you are trying to attract the energy of the King of Pentacles, but this is somebody who has all their ducks in a row when it comes to the material world. They don't carry a ton of heavy baggage. They don't have debt, uh, or at least if they do, it's not over bearing. This is about, they. Uh, this person likes to dress nice. They need to look nice. Uh, they speak well. They're very charming, charismatic, but they also have the finer things in life, maybe a nice car or a nice vehicle. They have a nice home. And this is somebody that you want to uh, either bring into your life or it's something that you are really trying to bring in so you can attract and mirror that energy. You want somebody that has some goals, some uh, life goals, but also has some financial goals as well. You want maybe want to settle down with somebody into retirement and you want to uh, go the distance with somebody else here. And I feel like this is somebody who's already successful, already very stable because they've worked their way to the top here. Whether this is you or the energy you're attracting. Uh, let's take a look and clarify for Cancer. 
The Wheel of Fortune. I love this. The Wheel of Fortune says that fate is intervening to either bring more stability into your life or bring this King of Earth. And I will be honest here, Cancer, and it doesn't matter if you're female or male here, but I feel like this is fate intervening, bringing this King of Pentacles towards you. So this is really great. So you may be tending to, uh, you know, a few things regarding your stability before this King of Pentacles energy shows up, but this is fate. This is definitely destiny here intervening saying all right cancer you've been doing a lot of work you've been through a lot here you finally have clarity and with clarity brings you knowing exactly what you want and therefore you're able to put it out into the universe and get it back in return so let's take a look and see what's going on in your recent past what is showing up here for cancer recent past thank you spirit Okay, how would you like these? Thank you. So we have in the recent past position, we do have the Ace of Air, but it is in, uh, it's in reverse, but I read intuitively here. So I'm just going to give you what I'm getting. I feel like uh, this is an aha moment about getting clarity. And it makes perfect sense here, Cancer, because you have the owl card showing up in your past. And this is about clarity as well. So the Ace of Swords is about... Uh, miscommunication at times and finally getting honest with another person or finding out about something here where you're able to get clarity to move forward in a situation. The Ace of Air is a new understanding. It's about truth and logic. It's about finding a solution to a problem and it's also about making an action plan and I feel like you did do that. You cut through the barriers. You made an action plan. That may be why the home matters is coming up for you here. And I feel like you had a light bulb or aha moment uh, that came in and I feel like you, you took that energy and you ran with it is kind of what I'm feeling here for you. You made a decision and I feel like you're sticking with it and you're moving forward and it may have to do with your home or your stability as well. But let's take a look and clarify this Ace of Swords in your past. I mean, the Ace of Swords is a great card. It is about victory. So I feel like you... You made a decision and that in itself is really powerful, Cancer, because the Nine of Wands says that, yes, you are a warrior. The Nine of Wands says that you have the final push, the determination, the motivation to not give up here because this says you're almost there. This is like seeing the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel and I feel like you hit that light because it's showing up in your past. So I feel like you did cross some sort of a threshold or some sort of a finish line here. Now, in the position of your potential or opportunities coming in, we do have the Messenger of Water, and the Messenger of Water is the Knight of Cups in this deck here. So this is about a classic romantic, uh, either coming into your life or you're putting something out there, and I feel like somebody's coming in, I will say. Uh, I feel like this Knight of Cups is offering you their cup of love. Now, this is somebody who's very romantic, somebody who follows their bliss. They can be very emotional at times, but they do follow their heart. For some of you, this could be a proposal. It could be about a romantic trip or a getaway. Or somebody says, Cancer, I want to make you my, uh, my main squeeze. I want to move in with you. I want to take the next step. So I am feeling that there's something going on here has the potential to combine, again, households, or it may have to do with you, again, moving in together or taking some sort of a relationship up to the next level. So I love this energy showing up for you, but I feel like you are ready to take that leap of faith as well because that's showing up in your main energy. Yeah, the Hierophant talks about commitment. It talks about a soul contract coming together for some deep, beautiful soul lessons and learning, but also about happiness and peace. But the Hierophant can represent tradition and it can represent commitment. So I feel like whatever this, whoever this is here, uh, showing up cancer for you, and it certainly can be... Uh, it can be a earth sign as well showing up for you. It doesn't just have to be uh, the Libra energy with the Empress. But I feel like for you, somebody's offering their cup of love, Cancer. This is really beautiful and I feel like you will accept. Let's get one more card here to clarify. 
Yes, there's commitment, but they want to go one more here. Somebody's really committed to you, and I feel like you are as well. Wow, Ten of Cups. This is huge, and this is this is exactly what I was feeling here. This is somebody that wants to marry you, Cancer. Somebody that wants to have a family with you if they don't already. This is somebody who wants to be in it for the good, the bad, the ugly, for better, for worse, for sickness and in health here. So yes, there are, uh, there's, you know, with every relationship, you need to put in the effort. There will be good times and there will be bad times, but this person will be next to you through them all. This is powerful stuff here, Cancer. I love this. Let's take a look and see what's showing up for you in the near future. All right. How would you like these here, Spirit? Thank you. One, two, two, two. All right. We have the judgment card showing up here. So the judgment card is about your calling. This is about your purpose. This is about you changing your life for the better. I really love this because there's an awakening happening here. This is about second chances here, second chance on love, Cancer. So I feel like you are being divinely guided to really step into a new version of yourself. There's something here with the fact that you've been kind and compassionate and learning how to love yourself more that you are attracting this love that it may seem it may seem unreal at first but i feel like fate is uh, intervening and stepping in saying now is your turn now it's time for you yeah if you've been single or been in an independent solitude energy for quite some time i feel like the nine of knight of wands is coming in to kind of sweep you off your feet and say let's do this let's uh, again will you be mine type of energy they just showed me uh they showed me a romantic heart like almost um like on Valentine's, you get those little hearts that say, will you be mine or my soulmate? I feel like somebody may be uh, very romantic where they they buy little things for you or they maybe gave you some of those heart candies uh, that say, will you be mine? Or there's some sort of love note here as well. Please take that as it resonates, Cancer. But I definitely feel like your Prince Charming is coming in. And I know that sounds so cliche here, but somebody really has a lot of feels for you. And I feel you do the same. Let's take a look and see what you're telling yourself. You have the page of water. Yeah, you are ready for this new opportunity in love. Pages can represent news as well. They can represent people that are younger. Uh, but I feel in this case, this is about a message of love coming towards you. You may have already received this as well. Uh, but I feel like somebody's going to come in and really tell you how they feel about you, Cancer. Let's take a look. Somebody's going to tell you that they want to do something regarding the home, the cabin. Some of you may be going off to a cabin or going off on a vacation as well. You may get a romantic invite. Maybe you're traveling with a lover here, or you may meet somebody while you're traveling. The page of wands, beautiful. You keep getting knights and pages here. So a lot of uh, hero or heroine energy here. There's uh, pages represent news. So I feel like somebody's, again, just as I was saying, somebody is going to come in and say, let's go away for the weekend, or uh, let's go travel, or let's go someplace spontaneous or adventurous. Let's go to the museum. Let's go to the zoo. Let's go to the park and have a picnic. Uh, there's something here with you actually moving towards something here, and you're feeling quite passionate as well, and that is showing up as intense passion uh, for you. Let's take a look at what's going on in your environment here. We have the two of air. So there's some decisions that need to be made at this time. I feel like your heart and your head, uh, I feel like you're being pulled in one direction and your heart's pulling you in another direction. But again, like I said, I feel like with your challenge as the empress, there's about, uh, there's an energy here that has to do with you making sure that you are putting enough to the fire you're putting enough wood you're feeding that fire here and i feel like that's about you feeding yourself the fire within you but also the fire within a relationship here but you need to possibly maybe you need to take care of family or you need to work more or there's something here that you need to create a balance but the two of swords does talk about making a decision but it's about your head and your heart really aligning instead of feeling in opposition here but the two of swords is about maybe not having enough data or uh, 
insufficient facts here. Don't ignore a decision and don't be too indecisive is what this is saying here, Cancer. So I feel like there will be a decision made for you, even though you had to make one in the past. I feel like this is a brand new one and it may pertain to your home and it may pertain to this intense passion that you feel here. So again, there's a mind and heart uh, battle kind of going on within you. Let's take a look and see what this is all about. All right, let's take a look. What do we have here for cancer? Maybe you like your independence and you like your alone time or you like being at your home and this person wants to maybe take something to the next step and that scares you, Cancer, because you've been maybe independent or in that solitude energy for quite some time, but you have the sun clarifying. So what this is saying here, Cancer, is whatever decision you make, will lead to your abundance, your happiness, your success. This sun card is about you enjoying the life uh, that you want because of the decisions that you've made. So this is really great. So don't let this decision or indecision scare you because whatever decision you make, you have the sun card showing up. So this is wonderful. There will be abundance. There will be love and happiness. So in the position of your hopes and fears, we have the nine of swords, which I feel like this has been coming up in this position for a lot of signs. And the nine of air is worry, anxiety. It is about stress. It's about sleepless nights. So I feel like there's something that may be keeping you up awake at night. Maybe it's this decision that you need to make. Maybe it's the excitement of this passion. Maybe it's something to do with your home matters or your health or your family here. But the nine of airs is, or excuse me, the nine of air, nine of swords, I feel for you as a hope is that you can move forward and you're not stressed out any longer regarding the decisions that you need to make in your love life. And the fear here is what if I stay stuck? What if I stay full of worry, obsessions, uh, you know, thoughts that just aren't serving me? You want to release and let that go. And the good news is in your outcome, I see that happening. Because you have the temptation card and you have the five of pentacles. So this is the devil energy, but it's also the five of pentacles. So I feel like you are, uh, you're moving forward towards your stability here. And I feel like you're not letting any distractions or obsessions or anything tempting or holding you back. I feel like you're just moving forward here. So the, the message, and we'll clarify as well, we'll clarify both the hopes and fears, but I got ahead of myself here with your outcome. I feel like this is saying you want to take a bite out of uh, the apple. So there may be something that may be holding you back just a little bit from making your decision. But I feel with the five of pentacles showing up here that you want to focus on your a positive mental health as well. But you want to focus on your family life and your home life. There's something of stability here that's very important for you, but this is about changes, financial changes, material changes, uh, and it's making sure that you have, uh, I feel like you want to make sure you have your own ducks in a row. Okay, thank you, Spirit. They're telling me that and goodness, if this is the case, please at all do not think this. There may be somebody that comes into your energy cancer that makes more money than you. And you may feel not good enough because you don't make enough money to kind of match up to their financial energetic level. But if that is the case, don't let that uh, deter you from this union. And that may be something you're going back and forth with. Because they're just showing me that you may have... Uh, Maybe you, for example, this isn't what Spirit's giving me, but an example here, maybe you filed for bankruptcy and you are with somebody who really cares a lot about you and there may be, I don't want to say uh, hidden, but maybe you haven't fully expressed your financial finances yet with a person and they want to take something to the next level. So that's only going to be for some of you. For others of you, the Five of Swords says you really want to make sure your stability is strong. Uh, and before you make decisions regarding maybe a move in together or stepping something up to the next level. This is saying don't let those fears or obsessive thoughts or anything hold you back here uh, to moving towards your love. So beautiful. I like where this is going here. We're going to clarify what this is all about. Yeah, there it is. You want your Ten of Pentacles. 
Not only do you have the Ten of Cups showing up for you, Cancer, you have the Ten of Pentacles now. And you want a, to build a stable family. You want financial security here. But again, you want to go towards your happily ever after. But there may be something with finances that may be holding you back a little bit here. Maybe you need to stay where you're at because you have a job or your money is there, but somebody lives elsewhere. So there could be something long distance as well. Or there could be maybe you're trying to sell a home. Uh, or you, your roots are planted somewhere because maybe you have family and you need to stay in the area. So there's something that may be tempting you from making a decision to follow your heart. But there is a lot of passion between you and another person coming in here. So follow your heart, but don't be so logical where you're letting the logic overrule your emotion and don't let the emotions overrule the logical. Find that balance and you will achieve the, the peace and the success that you're looking for in your love, Cancer. I love this. Let's take a look and see what the wisdom of the Oracle has for you. What do we have here for Cancer? Wow, we have building blocks. Yes, a lot of you are, remember what I said in the very beginning of your reading, Cancer? I said you may be uh, finishing up, kind of putting some stepping stones into place here with the building blocks. So I am going to read to you the relationship message here. And when you add eight and two up, uh, that equals 10, which in uh, tarot ones represent new beginnings. So let's just take a look here. Card 28. And the building box card is all about stability. It is about strong foundations. And it also talks about a beautiful work in progress, Cancer. So you are, you're moving towards your dream life with the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Uh, very beautiful. And also, again, two and eight equals ten. And you receive two of those. So you're definitely heading in that right direction. It says here, when you see this card, know that you are attracting new relationships into your life or solidifying the ones that you already have by building them on the foundation of honesty, humility, clear communication, and a genuine desire to know each other. You are moving toward laying the groundwork for a relationship with a firm footing that will ensure it can withstand any storm. Long-standing relationships are also repaired and strengthened. You, excuse me, you and the other person are stronger, wiser, and more powerful together than apart. This is a really wonderful energy here. So whoever this is that you are attracting into your life, or maybe they currently are already in your life here, Cancer, I feel like you're overcoming some challenges and obstacles and you're building that home life and that family life that you both want to see that maybe you didn't have as a child as well. All right, let's take a look and see what your soul wants you to really pay attention to and really remember this month, Cancer. What does your soul have for you? Oh my goodness. Talk about theme of your reading here. Am I in my head or in my heart? What is the quality of your self-talk? Our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life. Where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen. Oh my goodness. Cancer, I love this confirmation here from Spirit. Today's soul action is this. Today, master your mind. Watch an inspiring video. Do some tapping. Read an empowering book or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and in your dreams. What a really beautiful message of clarity showing up here for you. I love this. All right, Cancer. I'm digging your reading. I like where this is going. You will make the right decision that will lead to your happiness here. So let's get a few messages from your power animals, your spirit animal guides. And first of all, Cancer, I just ask if you have a moment, if you could close your eyes, tune into that third eye chakra. That is the chakra between your eyebrows. Take a deep breath in from the solar plexus. And I want you to think of the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky. Perhaps it is an animal that is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. Perhaps this animal swims deep in the sea. Or perhaps it is an animal that you currently have at your home. 
or maybe one that has crossed over the rainbow bridge. There is no right or wrong answer, Cancer. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is post your power animal that you just seen in your mind's eye in the comment box below. And I personally will enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of the month right back here on the channel. So do make sure you have subscribed Cancer if you haven't already so you are notified of that a winner. Now let's get your messages here. The first one we have is Skunk Spirit. It says, know your worth. Cancer, know that you are worthy of this love, even though there may be priority priorities or things that you need to tend to. The person, this King of Pentacles is patient and he's kind and he's compassionate and wise. And he will understand here that there are things that either you need to do on your own or he can come in and help you as well. So know your worth. Know that you deserve love. Next, we have Armadillo Spirit, and it says set healthy boundaries. So a lot of you are setting those healthy boundaries, not only for your relationship, but for yourself. And I feel like you are prioritizing, you're focusing on the things that you need to tend to at this time. Again, putting the wood on that fire, whether that again is the fire within you or in the relationship, but you're setting healthy boundaries and doing so. I feel like you're getting the clarity and you're getting clear about what decisions you need to do and coming up with solutions to problems that you've had here in the past regarding love. Next here, we have moth spirit. This is about surrendering. And I like this energy because this talks about not only surrendering, but compromise, blending energies here. So surrendering can be like that hanged man energy where you're surrendering uh, to feeling maybe stuck or like you're in a limbo. But this is about following your heart and your head and meeting in the middle and moving forward here and letting spirit guide you. And last but not least, we have Canary Spirit. This says, sing your own song. And I really love this because I feel like the, the frequencies, the melody, the notes, the song, the waves that you're putting out into the universe at this time, Cancer, are really attracting this King of Earth or this love energy that you want for yourself. And there's something here that has long-term growth, long-term potential. Some of you, I feel a small, small, uh, percentage of you, you already are possibly with this person, or maybe you already have a family with this person. And I feel like you are growing and expanding with this person because they are your soulmate here. So I really love this energy showing up for you. But for the majority, I feel like this is new love, or it's a new uh, spark to a, a love energy. Now, last but not least, we're just going to get a message from the crystal spirits here. And by the way, Cancer, for any of you that are interested in any of the decks that you do see above or any use during your reading, you can find all of that information in the description box below. So your stone is citrine. And citrine is a really beautiful stone regarding uh, abundance and attracting more of that into your life. It's also card 17. And in tarot, 17 is the star card. And the star promises hope. It promises guidance and healing healing as well. So I feel like you may be healing through situations of the past and uh, reframing your mindset around love. And the relationship message, uh, well, first of all, citrine also is about joyful expressiveness. It's about embracing your happiness and letting go of all negativity. And the relationship message is this. In our relationships, we work to build foundations of love and trust. And one way to do that is through simply spending time together or having fun. Do something with someone else, some activity you enjoy or that neither of you have tried before. That will make your hearts happy. Being adventurous can be fun, even if the experience doesn't turn out quite as you expected and the rain insists on falling on your parade. Intend to find something funny and positive in whatever you do today with others. And joy will be your gift, magnified by the power of citrine. Remember your joy encourages and in inspires others to let go of their sadness and cynicism. So don't hold back. Radiate happiness. This is really beautiful because remember in the beginning here, I was talking about you going on an adventure or you getting out there and doing something with a partner, whether it's a first date or whether you've had many dates with 
this person. It's about getting outside your comfort zone and doing things that either you've never done before or things that you enjoy. Bring a lot of happiness. Go to a zoo, like I said, go to a museum or go someplace uh, for the day. Take a road trip, go on a hike. So there's a sense of a bit abundance and sunshine entering your world. So this is a really beautiful reading here for you, Cancer. I'm excited to see uh, where your April ends up in your love because there's a lot of intense passion showing up for you in the future. But there is still a few decisions for you to make here. And I feel like whichever decision you make, as long as you uh, lead with your heart and your logical mind, meet in the middle, that's where that miracle will happen and where you will feel the love and abundance coming in. So I hope this resonates with you, Cancer. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Do comment your power animal in the comment box below, and I personally, again, will enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway. And feel free to share, notify, or hit that notification button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am sending all of you wonderful Cancerians a lot of love and light. Till next time.